Wesley So is a maniac. This is the most ridiculous three brilliant moves I've seen in one game at the Super GM level. And it also came in round seven of the Olympiad, where number one Armenia was playing number two USA. Those are the standings after round six. So it's a huge matchup. And here Wesley's opponent plays E5, which is basically forcing white to take or else you will get forked on the E4 square. So what does Wesley do? He moves his bishop to uh, to H6, and then he immediately gets forked. But is he the one getting forked, or is he going to detonate rook takes E4? Which is a ridiculous sacrifice. And what's the idea? If you take, which his opponent did not, then a queen sacrifice. And this is the king walk to end all king walks. Because what comes after this? Bishop C4. You can't go anywhere else, so you come forward. The knight check comes, and you come forward. The g4 pawn gives a check, sacrificing the knight, but then the rook comes over to the e-file, and this is mate in this position. A mate in seven off of a rook sacrifice in the middle of the board, followed by a queen sacrifice, followed by a knight sacrifice. This man is wild. But I think after the initial shock of rook takes e4, Wesley's opponent calculates all of this. So instead, he just moves the knight back. The rook slides over, pressuring that f7 square. And after f5, uh, the knight jumps in. You want to you wanna take pressure off of the f file? Uh, no, we're going to jump in with the knight. And the idea is that if you take, which his opponent does, then rook takes f5. And Wesley's still coming in. Look at how much pressure this king is under. Like, this king is struggle busting it right now. But instead, the knight jumps in, and then another brilliant move. Rook to d5, and the idea is that if you take that, the bishop will sacrifice itself, and you definitely can't take that, because then it is just mate immediately. So instead of taking, you gotta do any sort of other move let's just say uh you know king h8 but then you're losing your rook which i sacrificed earlier they they're still trying to prevent getting mated right now so if you were to move back with the queen now white's up in exchange also up uh three pawns four pawns excuse me <laughs> and it, it's going to be really bad news bears for for black but instead of all that wesley's opponent chooses to play queen f6 but that allows the queen to get hit with tempo and then a bishop check comes through and this position is just completely dead loss for black because wherever you move your queen, bad things are about to happen. If you move it to the d7 square, uh, there's going to be a discovery because this is, comes with checks, so you have to take and you lose your queen. Or let's just say you move to the uh, g7 square, uh, you're pinned and you're losing your queen. Uh, there's really not a whole lot of spaces your queen can go. Like There's, there's nowhere on the e-file. Um, you can't go back, so maybe over here. But even this, the rook f7, and you're getting hit again, and then also uh, white's just crashing through. So just complete dominance from Wesley So as his opponent resigns in this position. And what's crazier is despite this big win, Wesley So's teammates all had decisive results. And the one game that was in a completely drawn position towards the end of the game was Sam Shanklin, who accidentally touched his king and moved it to an illegal position where the king was in check. So Sam Shanklin had the opportunity to draw and give USA the team win over Armenia. But instead, there are two wins for Team USA with Wesley So and Lanier Dominguez winning. And there are two losses with Sam Shanklin and Fabiano Caruana losing. And that creates a draw. So Armenia is able to hold off the USA from jumping their ranks and it is complete craziness in the Olympiad. If you want to follow along live, I'm going to be streaming and commentating the final two rounds on August 8th and 9th. And then also I am going to be doing usually short form videos every single day to highlight one game from each day. Hope you enjoy this. Happy learning everyone.